Hey, I'm Mac. Welcome back to my channel. Since we just recently talked about Kangen Water a couple days ago, no, <laughs> my family was visiting me here. Uh, so I had a nice, like, couple of weeks off. So that was nice. Since we just talked about Kangen Water, I thought we would go ahead and look at one of Kangen Water's uh, greatest business successes, who also, you know, offers his own coaching and whatever services. You, you know what? I'll just, I'm going to read to you today. I'm going to read to you, baby, from his website that I've printed off because all together now I print things off like an old man. Uh, so we're going to learn all about Clint. Clint, Clint is Clint. And uh, this is his name, Clint X. Morgan. I'm sure that's what his parents named him. You know, not everyone can pull off Clint. Yeah, I feel like his name is probably Clinton. Jeez, this is going really smoothly. But the X in his name uh, doesn't have a period. And I'm going to assume that that's because it's kind of like Harry S. Truman, you know, where like it doesn't actually stand for anything. I mean, whatever. You can be named whatever you want. I mean, OK. So this is his about page on his coaching website, okay? Create a life you can be proud of. And it's it's in that like annoying, you know, like live, laugh, love font that like makes me wanna kill people when I see it. Most people know Clint X. Morgan as a spiritually connected man and visionary entrepreneur who successfully built a million dollar direct sales business, but his three kids, and wife just know his as dad and babe. I hope that's like respectively. I don't know. There wasn't a lot of punctuation in that sentence. And I'm just going to point out that like, actually, most people, I would say like 99.9999999999% of people do not know who you are at all. This is my first time hearing about you, you know, and you're probably looking for the word him, not his. It's easy to confuse them though. His is his is possessive, you know, but him is a pronoun, okay? Yeah, I don't know, maybe his wife also knows him as daddy. I, you know, whatever they're into. Visionary, really? Nobody in multi-level marketing is a visionary. Let's just make that a rule, okay? But it'll be like it'll be like Bill Maher, but like I'm not a douchebag. But like, we'll make rules anyway. New rule. If you're an MLM, you're not a visionary. Over the years, he tried and failed at many online businesses until he cracked the code with online automation and affiliate marketing. Kangen Water is not affiliate marketing. And second of all, this automation bullshit. Look, if it's automated, that means that anyone can do the exact same thing as you right? It might be lucrative for like the first person to do it, but very quickly the cat's going to be let out of the bag, which it should be because that's like animal abuse. But like other people are going to, it's like the information on how to do what you did is going to be out there. And since it's all automated and you're not putting any originality or, you know, personality into it, it's it then it means that other people can do exactly what you do it, like exactly what you do because it's automated so a computer can do it that's why i don't have like chat gpt write my uh, scripts here okay we don't even have a script for this one because people want to watch a personality and hear someone's original thoughts like they don't want to hear a computer's thoughts they want to hear a person's thoughts and a person's opinions expressed in the way that a person expresses themselves uniquely. I mean, not like unique, the makeup company. No one wants to see that type of expression. Wait right here. I'll be back. What's going to happen to us? We'll probably get 40 lashes. Oh, no. Spiders on my eye eye eyes. It's going really smoothly. I need to write more scripts. Him and his wife. Okay, so you're confused on pronouns again. Uh, it's called he and his wife, but that one's hard. 
I don't know what they teach you there in Australia, but it's he. He and his wife built a successful business that has provided them with legacy income. What does that mean? That is now allowing them to complete all the side quests in life. You know, that's such a modern gaming metaphor because like, you know, when I was into PC gaming in like the early 2000s, you didn't need income to complete side quests. You, they were already in the game. You paid for the game one time at the store and that like, and there were, the, there was no credit cards involved after that. Okay, there didn't even need to be a credit card involved. You could you could buy the game with um like there was this paper stuff called money and you gave it to the cashier and they gave you the game and you walked out of the store and like that was it. Like that was the end. Okay. Oh, and the game actually like worked, you know, and was like feature complete the first time. So you could just do the side quests, you know, like that was included in the $50 that you paid for the game. I'm just saying. Um, but I guess, you know, we're all candy crushified now, except, you know, I'm not. But that's why I, do you think that I don't get sponsorship offers for free to play games? Cause I do, I just decline them all uh, because I don't hate you guys. And I think that those games are basically gambling that has gotten through a legal loophole and I like I don't think that should be legal and I don't think it's appropriate to promote it to anybody like I just I like I also don't promote fentanyl here so you know let's not ruin people's lives I guess I'll never complete all the side quests so <laughs> Get ready for this one. For Clint, those side quests include writing music. Okay, I mean, I do that too. Releasing rap songs. Okay, um, guys, like, I just, it's like, okay, look at him. Oh shit, like, I mean, look at him. Seriously, look at him. Nope, nope, uh, no flavor there. No risk of flavor there, but I am salty. I'm not saying that you cannot be white and be a legit hip hop artist, you know, but I think that some would say that for some people it is cultural appropriation because they lack the experience of urban poverty which is a like an that's where hip hop originated as a form of expression and when you are not engaging with it in a way that is respectful and curious and is authentic in your personal experience with it, then that's appropriation. Like it, it's, it's, it's so inextricably linked to its, its origins and its, and its continued culture that, that is rooted in that urban poverty, which was largely a, an experience of black Americans as a result of slavery followed by 150 years and counting of racist economic and social policies. So, you know, you can have legit white hip hop artists who also have, you know, experience of urban poverty and, and you know, stuff like that like Eminem, for example, in Detroit. But, you know, it's it's the way it is the, you have to have some level of cred. And this is true of like any type of form of expression that is coming from a marginalized, oppressed group. That like, that's what it, that's what makes it cultural appropriation is when you don't have that personal experience and you don't really 
have an understanding or a connection to it and you're sort of just duplicating the shallow aesthetics of it and what you think it is without actually engaging on a deeper level because it you know and because you fundamentally really can't you know you should just you know be a listener and maybe not try to create it without that understanding or experience yeah i mean in it, that it can be true of like any type of music you know like uh like saturday night fever is cultural appropriation of gay and black culture you know for a heteronormative white cultural appropriation of disco or um like cotton eye joe is offensive because that is cultural appropriation. It is people from a wealthy European country who couldn't point to West Virginia or Appalachia on a map uh, wearing Appalachian poverty as a costume. Like that's offensive. And, and maybe that's easier for his white ass to understand. <laughs> it's the same thing that you're doing with hip hop, except what you're doing with hip hop is worse. So, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying you definitely don't have the cred, but I'm saying I suspect that you don't. You know, maybe we'll take a listen later, okay? Maybe we'll take a listen later because I, I like to suffer for you guys. Hosting concerts and retreats. I hope that they're not of his music. I suspect that they are. Hosting a podcast and supporting men to experience their full re potential in this life. I... That always sounds like so... I, <laughs> I like to help men experience their full potential too. <laughs> sounds dirty when I say it. Through his varied endeavors... Okay, you said that you host a podcast and you make music. But, nothing in here about Kang and Water, by the way, because I'm sure that would limit his marketability to his coaching audience. Like, oh, <laughs> I didn't tell you about my crazy water scam. You know. Through his varied endeavors, he continues to inspire and uplift those around him, making a positive impact on the world. I thought Kangen Water was supposed to be negative, okay? Like, now I'm confused, because I thought positive was super oxidizing. I mean, it's it's so inconsistent, you guys. Look at this photo. This is our rapper here, okay? Wait, it needs to be in focus. There we go. Now, yeah. you know. Flannel. See. Although I guess I'm glad that he's not wearing a costume, if you know what I mean. I'm just gonna read you this uh, description of an episode of his podcast, okay? We're not gonna listen to the podcast, but I am gonna read you this description because it tells us a lot about him, okay? I mean, it tells us a lot about his. In this electrifying episode, Jesus, you'll get an exclusive glimpse. How is it exclusive? It's a podcast, like anyone can listen to it. It's, it's like literally the opposite of exclusive. Um, into my adventures in Sweden, isn't that an oxymotron? And how this beautiful country has played a pivotal role in shaping my journey. What, are you the dancing queen now? Did you get some Ikea furniture? Did you have a really good meatball? Those can, those can be pretty pivotal. Um, from the picturesque houseboat I once called home, to the audacious vision of the conscious rock star lifestyle. Yeah, you're right. Rock stars are s unconsciously alarming amount of the time, actually. I'll be sharing stories that are as wild and inspiring as they are entertaining. Notice that he didn't say that they would be very wild or inspiring or entertaining. He just said that the amount of wild and inspiring would be equivalent to the amount of entertaining. So, you know, like he's not lying. Picture this. Me surviving on nothing but buffet breakfast for 10 days. That sounds awesome. I, can I volunteer for that? I volunteer as tribute. I will live on nothing but bu buffet breakfast for 10 days. 
Absolutely, 100%. Oh, you're putting eggs in my bags. I Seriously, that sounds fucking awesome. And you'll understand the kind of determination and hunger that drives an entrepreneur's dream. So being stuffed, because if I have buffet breakfast for 10 days, I'm not gonna be hungry during any of those days. <laughs> I'm just not. You know you can survive on like one meal a day, right? Like especially if it's a really big meal. Like does he think that's that crazy? Like sometimes I sometimes it'll hit like 11 p.m. for me and I'm like, did I eat today? No. But yeah, so that's the determination and hunger that drives and you have nothing but buffet breakfast for 10 days. I'm why is that supposed to sound bad? That sounds fucking awesome, man. I sausage and shut up. You know what I meant. But guys watching, you know what I meant. Jesus. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm so tired of icebergs, you guys. I'm done. I'm tired of the iceberg metaphor. Come up with a new metaphor. It's it's played out. It's over. Stop. Okay? Stop with the icebergs, okay? If these, if icebergs are the thing, I'm the Titanic, all right? Okay, because if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Except, I mean, I guess the iceberg was still floating after that. You know that icebergs are fresh water, like, because they break off from glaciers, which, you know, like, a glacier is just a place where uh, the amount of snowfall is exceeding the amount of snow that melts every summer, you know? So it just builds up over time. Like, isn't that weird that they're fresh water? Because uh, when the ocean water freezes, that's called sea ice. That's why the icebergs float so high, because fresh water is lighter than salt water. That's also why uh, when icebergs melt, that doesn't cause sea level rise. But what does cause sea level rise is, is when they first break off from the glacier and fall into the ocean. It's kind of like how, like, if you have ice in a glass, like, the ice melting doesn't cause the glass to overflow. Stupid. Tune in as I map out the intricate blueprint of my journey. I don't want to, I don't want any more maps of journeys, okay? I just, I don't. Is it a topographic map? It better not, it better not be nautical because I'm concerned about it being a potential nautical chart given that it's related to a houseboat. And also, I have to imagine that a interaction between a houseboat and an iceberg would not go well. And that's probably something you shouldn't be joking about in Scandinavia. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Although I guess there really aren't that many icebergs near like Norway because they don't because like they break off from like Greenland, but like I'm sure they've melted by the time they get to Norway because the water is like relatively it's like warmer than you would expect because of the Gulf Stream. God, I hate myself sometimes. Map out the intricate blueprint of my journey. A blueprint. A blueprint is an architectural drawing, not it, like it's not a navigation thing. Like I'm not like, oh, here's here's a blueprint of canyon lands. Now you'll be able to find your way around. Like, do you mean like chart out or something? Chart out the map or lay out the map or draw out the map or go cartographer on yo ass or something like that. I don't know. The connecting the dots from those houseboat days to the present moment where destiny and karmic coincidence intertwine in the most remarkable ways. Am I supposed to like pity him for the houseboat days? Be like you owned you owned a houseboat? I don't own property. Although now, you know, in this current climate, I get to sound sophisticated and be like purchasing property. <laughs> What an uproarious idea right now, son. The interest rates are far too high for that. 
<laughs> of all the ridiculous ideas. One shouldn't even consider purchasing with the interest rate so high. What a laughable proposal. Instead of being like, yeah, like, you know, I had an alcohol problem and like a rehab stent and like, so I don't have any money and I'm still like getting my life a little bit back together and I'm single and I'm 33. So yeah, it's not gonna happen. Life. <laughs> Rock, and then there's a rocket ship emoji and I believe the microphone emoji, God. I hope the rocket comes first, then we won't have to hear him because he'll be in space. And I, and if my understanding of acoustic propagation is correct, there's no sound in space. Hashtag wild and free festival. Hashtag Sweden diaries. And Sweden, we love your pop songs. Okay, notice I didn't say rap songs. We love your pop songs. Um, no one wants to read your diaries. Like, it's still flat outside. Lots of timber. Hurdy gurdy 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 gurdy. King a ding a durgan. See, that's uh, revenge on Sweden for bringing us Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah. I bet you thought I didn't know Rednecks was from Sweden. No, I knew. Stick to the bubblegum pop, Sweden. Bring us more Max Martin and ABBA. Don't give us that shit. <laughs> Don't rap at us either. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, Sweden. I said stay in your lane. And I would like to also get some more Phone God Off and Storm Vin. <laughs> Thank you. That was a good one. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do on this one. So, did you get that, Sweden? I want less Cotton Eye Joe, uh, more ABBA styled stuff, uh, more a Fong God Avenstorm Vend, uh, no rap from you, and uh, no offensive stereotypes of, of Appalachia. Okay? You understand me? Uh, and I want you to stop with your sugar fish. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. How does it feel? Hashtag personal, hashtag authentic, hashtag masculine. Yeah, okay. The portrait of manliness. Hashtag service, hashtag difference, hashtag approachable, hashtag advice, hashtag professional, hashtag examples. What the fuck? Hashtag interaction. Hashtag family, hashtag transitions. I'm gonna guess that that one probably doesn't mean what you think it means. Hashtag grounding, hashtag mindfulness. This is such a hot mess express. This is what you get when you're a hanging water uh, influencer. Here's another Instagram caption from him. You ready for this one? You're not. Men, exclamation point. Are you ready for the transformation? Okay, I, I don't know if this is, but I don't know what's going on with that. Over the 12 months working together, we'll unpack, respond and replace distractions, which brings forth more direction, action, all right, and results in the physical world and healing of deep inner wounds, which can see us coming more alive, vibrant, happy, and seeing us fulfill our mission and create a financially fulfilling and abundant life, period. Wow, you that period really should have come earlier. Um, so men, st stop saying men. Join me in a small group of other men, all right, as we go deep, okay, on a spiritual quest together, if you say so, and set ourselves up with the tools to create a business that supports us to be free and provide abundantly for our loved ones and communities, period. Direct message me today and take back the wheel to your life. I want Jesus, hashtag trust, hashtag love, hashtag mystic, hashtag man, hashtag rich, and the rest, uh, oh, and hashtag 
mindfulin. That's not a. That's not me misreading it. It's hashtag m i n d f u l n. That that's the end of that one. Okay. Listen. Here's a, here's a tip for free. If you're trying to do this hashtag spamming thing, you need to look at what the hashtags you're using actually are, and you need to pick hashtags that are more specific than that. And you really want to pick a hashtag that you think you can get into like the top of. You know, so for this guy, I would say rather than like hashtag men, I would put like hashtag men's personal growth or something, or like hashtag personal growth men's group or whatever, or hashtag personal and personal development for men or something like that. Men's personal development. There you go. Which still is probably a, a saturated hashtag, but it would be better than putting hashtag men. Like that's you. Like you're never going to end up on someone's feed on that hashtag. There's too many people posting that hashtag, and it's too. It's too non-specific because, like, you you want it to be something where people are following the hashtag and therefore they will see it in their feed. But like, it's, it's so vague. Like, what does that like? What does that mean? I would assume that if you're following hashtag men, you're probably looking for like pictures of hot guys to show up in your feed. But so that's not going to be. Uh, if your post does end up in their feed as a result of that, they're probably not going to engage with your post because that wasn't what they were looking for when they started following that hashtag. Like you have to think about the hashtags you're using. You can't just spam a bunch of hashtags and think that that's going to uh, automatically get you results. Like you have to use your brain. This is what happens when you use automation like and i just told you all of that for free that does not apply to tags on youtube tags on youtube don't do anything i think i've said too much you know uh, remember it was straight white people who made little richard uh change it from wop bob loo bop a good goddamn tutti fruity loose booty to a wop bop loo bop a wop bam boom Tutti Fruity, all Rudy. All Rudy. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. And so this is his like 12 month course, okay? It's called The Rich mystic man have you ever tried to cut a piece of fruit with a blunt knife and you know what i should start doing i should start doing my knock knock thing okay so when i knock on the desk that means that i'm switching from reading to commenting okay that way you know who who's talking is it mac or is it mac who's reading something to you have you ever tried to cut a piece of fruit with a blunt knife Sure, you'll get the job done, but it's not as smooth and efficient as what I can be with a well-sharpened knife. Okay. This is how most men are living their life. Sure, things are progressing and you are making moves in a forward direction, yet so many limitations are holding you back from living a, capital letters, wildly successful, fulfilling, and abundant life. Is there really like that much of a difference between using a blunt knife to cut fruit and using a sharp knife to cut fruit? Like. I wouldn't really call that like wildly successful, but okay. It's not that great of a, it's not that great of a metaphor. Let's get your knife of life sharpened so you can continue to build upon your unique life's purpose and mission. I mean, is it really that unique? I mean, just don't drop the knife, all right? You cut your toes off. This experience is designed to teach you to master and wield your most powerful assets your time, energy, and imagination. Im 
Imagination. I thought my most powerful asset was my sharp knife. I'm so confused. You will learn the art of self-mastery through identifying and removing any limitations and distractions keeping you from rising fully into your power. What, am I becoming a Jedi? <laughs> All right, Master Yoda. We will have you manifesting, <laughs> leading and serving on a whole new level of efficient, effective, and direct ways. Upon leaving this retreat, you will have been initiated into the rich mystic man within you. I'm Clint X. Morgan, and over the last eight years, I've been on a profoundly deep spiritual quest that has taken me to retreats in Brazil, sacred sites in Greece, a pilgrimage in India, and a deep inward journey, connecting my core essence and healing my core wounds. I mean, hasn't this already been done in Eat, Pray, Love? I mean, good Lord. I'm sure though the locals in at those sacred sites in Greece and, uh, you know, in Brazil and India really appreciated you on your tour through their, you know, deeply held beliefs. Just, you know, your, your little tour. At the same time, building a wildly successful and profitable global business and a passive income and now completely financially free, that was not a complete sentence. I've balanced true inner freedom and financial abundance and fully... What the fuck? This... This man is not a good writer. I've balanced true inner freedom and financial abundance and life fully expressed, soaking up deep spiritual fulfillment and worldly possessions and luxury experiences. <laughs> That's, that is such an MLM thing to say that like deep spiritual fulfillment is all about <laughs> how many worldly possessions you can acquire and how many luxury experiences you can have. I mean, that's what I think of. I'm now dedicated to helping other men do the same, which is the essence behind the rich mystic man. He's such a giver. I've discovered from my own journey, even the deepest desires and dreams can be sabotaged repeatedly by distractions, limitations, which creates distract dissatisfaction in life. I hope you're not teaching them to write. Over the 12 months working together, we'll unpack, respond, and replace these distractions, which can see more direction, action, and results in the physical world, healing of deep inner wounds, which can see us coming more alive, vibrant, happy, and seeing us fulfill our mission and create a financially fulfilling and abundant life. Do you proofread these things? Like, so join me with a small group of other men as we go deep, oh yeah, on a spiritual quest together. Eh. The all-encompassing mastermind for the man Truly ready to embody his most magical financially and courageous timeline. Again, not a complete sentence. Are you ready for the transformation? No. What you will get. Three three-day live immersions, retreat style. These immersion will run every four months and will be focused on a core pillar. Number one, the rich. Three-day immersion. These three days will be focused on activating the embodied millionaire man and all that comes with embracing the richness of life, wealth, and abundance. I don't think when people usually talk about the richness of life, they literally mean like financially. You will cover the art of sales and high converting conversations in the DMs for effortless fuck yes clients. Oh boy, we're getting aggressive. <laughs> you sound like Dan Locke. The art of persuasion, influence, and charisma that translates into cash in bank, all caps. How to create marketing content and build a personal brand that pops 
So you embody the magnetic man that gives authentic value and people follow. <laughs> Learn the fundamentals of leadership and activating your king energy, which draws people, opportunity, and money to you in a more effortless way. I would say that just focusing on like making sure that each of your sentences have a subject, like a verb, and then like a predicate, you know, perhaps a, a direct object or an indirect object or something, you know, that would go a long way toward a more compelling set of marketing materials because this uh, it makes no sense. Uh, I would also focus on maybe like subject verb agreement, you know, and 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 uh, parallel construction, probably. The mystic. Three day immersion. This is the next immersion starting on the 21st October. These three days, we will journey deep into the metaphysical world and the energetic upgrades necessary to live a fully expressed rich life. You will cover how to rewire your subconscious mind and the tools to start to bend your reality. I already learned general relativity once, okay? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm good. How to flip the switch so you turn on your automatic magnetic attraction powers. Okay, so you're gonna get superpowers. How embracing your magic and mystical powers will ripple into every area of your life. Think more cash flow, deeper spiritual connection, incredible intentional sex through alchemy. <laughs> Incredible intentional sex through alchemy. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's true. Like, I know when things are getting heated and he's like, have you ever seen lead turn into gold? I wanna show you my fusion reactor, baby. And I'm like, oh yeah. Let's put on our hazmat suits. <laughs> Start up the particle accelerator, baby. Are the straight people all right? Like, self-mastery and greater innovation and creative flow in your business. Are we still talking about sex? Because I thought the self-mastery was, was still talking about sex. I mean, innovation and creative flow, that could be good, but then he's like, in your business. So, is it like sex in my business? Is it like an OnlyFans? I don't understand. This is so confusing, and we're only at the mystic. So, I have to assume that the third immersion is going to be the man. So, let's hear some alpha energy. Are we ready? And I don't mean alpha like the alpha particles that you'll need to eject, you know, from the nucleus to, you know, get your gold uh, atoms from your intentional fusion sex. Um, owning your shadow and unique gifts. Embracing your unique essence and expressing that into the world with clarity and confidence. So, I so are you gonna have sex with them at the retreat or like is it? I don't know. It sounds pretty weird. Um. Okay. Here we go. The man. I. I'm a fucking wizard. Three day immersion. These three days will unleash the beast in the most unconventional practices. I'm scared. And come home a transformed man ready to take on any challenge. You will cover the fundamentals to purifying your vessel and activate to purifying your vessel and to activate your healthiest and leanest version. Okay, that's what I'm talking about with parallel construction. You should have said the fundamentals to purifying your vessel and activating your healthiest and leanest version. Although I wouldn't say version there. I would say like uh, self or something. I, I don't know. I just want to help. My question is, is like what vessel, like is that, 
Like, is that my dick or? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds weird. The Your 101 health, like the Hollywood freeway? Vibrancy and training hacks to fast track your body transformation goals in just a few hours a week. Like, is it, usually when men say that they're talking about anabolic steroids. So like pass, I don't know. The discipline, consistency, focus, and structure needed to create your ultimate energy and vibrancy. And you leave with a mindset, health, and wellness toolkit. Is this a literal toolkit or is it like a mental toolkit? And that wasn't clear. This is like a grab bag. Activate and heal your sexual energy centers, creating more life force, giving you more superpowers in all areas of life. See, I'm not even making it up. He literally said that you will get superpowers. You're going to become Spider-Man. Slinging your goo just all, all over each other. I don't know. There's more though, there's more, but wait, there's more. You will also receive 18 90 minute group breakthrough calls. Do you mean breakout calls? That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Like what is this? Is this like corporate team building? Unlimited telegram support group where you can receive support on anything coming up for you in between our breakthrough calls. So good, you know, like, what a what a gift because you get a telegram group can't get those for free who needs therapy when you have your you know fusion bomb superpower sex retreat for men industry industry leading guest experts these experts have been handpicked to deliver you topics covering marketing sales funnels and health and body so you can have all areas covered i hope that the funnels go with the sales and not with your body that sounds weird and scary three rich man rich mystic man fundamentals key trainings it care to elaborate seems crucial to it lifetime access to all coaching calls and training recordings. Wow, I mean, you can't, you can't put a price on that, I guess. Massage me today. I think that's probably supposed, to, I, I desperately hope that that's supposed to say message me because I'm all set. This is for you if, number one, and um, all of these are in all caps, but I'm not going to yell them all. Um, so just I just want you to know that these are in all caps. You're holding a lot. You feel at times life is too much and you've reached a certain level of success. But dot dot dot. You're ready to grow full circle. You're ready to grow full circle. You're ready to grow full circle. Next level in your game of life. I don't think I've ever heard someone say grow full circle before. And like, I usually going full circle, like it's not a necessarily a negative thing or a positive thing. It's usually just like a narrative comment on a cycle that repeats. Like, oh, so we've gone full circle. Like we went here. We were like we started here and then we went here and now we're back to here, you know, and it could be good. It could be bad, but you, you're like, oh, well, we we've completed a cycle where you're commenting that we're in a cycle. You know, we've gone full circle. I don't I, what does grow full circle mean? Think scaling into consistent cash flow months, powerfully serving your vision, building your kingdom, and playing 
all in on your life's mission. I don't think, don't you have to be born a king? So like, I mean, if if you're not born one, then like, then you're not one. Unless you like cut the other king's head off, I think. I don't know. This is a dumb. This is what this is what happens when you put the manosphere in a blender and then, you know, um, delete random lines of code from chat GPT's back end and then feed that through it and ask it to summarize. <laughs> Number two, you feel like you've been working on your money shit for years but you know there is still something holding you back, breaking through to your next level prosperity, empowerment, and flow in all areas of your life, exclamation point. That was not a sentence. I think we were missing some prepositional phrases, but I'm not gonna fill them in for him. Number three, you've experienced success in your business. However, it still feels like you're stuck in feast or famine mode and you're ready for steady, consistent, higher cash flow months and to expand in your innovation and creativity. Number four, you have success in other business avenues and are ready to shift into a new reality of wealth and abundance. You're ready to up your game, learning how to effectively make money consistently in the online space and enter the paradigm of time and location freedom. Yeah, you're gonna have time. You guys, like I just got back from this retreat. It was so good, you guys. And I learned how to have time freedom and location freedom. I am an untethered being from the physical universe. Okay, so if you're ready to learn how to um, turn lead into gold in the bedroom, um, message me, cause, um, you know, I am an all-powerful cosmic wizard. So follow me at, at Jameson, the cosmic wizard, you guys. I mean, I know you already have because causality is an illusion and simultaneity is an illusion. So if you're ready to apply general relativity to your business, message me. You understand logically that you are more than just your human meat suit. Really? Because from here, it looks like you're exactly your human meat suit, if that's what you want to call it. In fact, uh, that appears to be all of you and uh, nothing more. In fact, I would say you and that are the same thing. You know, it's, that's how it works. And are open, curious, and aware there is more that makes up this universe. I mean, yeah, because there's me and then there are like other objects and peoples and animals and plants and planets and galaxies and, you know, dark energy and you know, phantom energy that causes, you know, the big rip that is a normal thing to think about. Um, so, I mean, that's obvious. I, I mean, did you think it was just you? You are ready to delve deeper into the mysteries and magic that underlie our reality. Somehow I doubt he's talking about um, like physics. And I feel like he's, people who are really into like mysteries, they're, they're more just into like asking questions even, and they don't really care if those questions have already been answered, you know? They're like, wow, how could a ship, you know, disappear in the Bermuda Triangle? It, it must be, you know, cursed or there must be some spooky thing it's certainly not because the ocean is dangerous or anything and it's really hard to find shipwrecks because it's you know dark deeper than you know a couple hundred feet and it's big you know it's certainly that i mean you know you guys there's an interstate um in utah and people have crashed their cars on it and died 
you can't explain that, okay? There's a haunted interstate. It's obviously supernatural and not the fact that driving is dangerous or anything. And, you know, that you, it's just, you know, that just happens because when you, when you do dangerous things, that's a risk. Yeah. So, uh, number six, you're ready to expand and elevate yourself as a man on a mission in this world to eliminate distractions and limitations in your life, holding you back from breaking through to your next level of greatness and success. I don't know if I have another level of greatness and success. Um, I'm just doing what I can, you know. As much as you practice staying positive, you sometimes feel like the universe is fucking you in the ass. <laughs> Some people are into that. Although you generally want to practice staying negative um, when it comes to um, it's recommended that you try as hard as you possibly can to um, stay negative with that, you know, please um, take prepper, use a condom, please. Thank you. Um, and you are ready to truly shift this and activate your lucky gene code in all areas of your life and through all layers of your being. Is that, maybe, what if this retreat is like, don't let the universe fuck you in the ass. Let Clint X. So now let's go back to music, okay? In a weird sort of way, cultural appropriation can be a little bit where it's hard to come up with like a, a specific rule for when it is occurring and when it's not. It's It's kind of like what is often said about pornography where it's, um, I can't tell you what it is, but I know it when I see it um, because it, it's like not down to a specific set of circumstances. It's about um, a demonstrated level of respect and um, of engagement and uh, a two way relationship or lack thereof that is going to determine whether what you have created is cultural appropriation or um, not. You know, it's the difference between um, Country Roads, which is was by John Denver, who is not from West Virginia, and Cotton Eyed Joe, um, you know. Cotton Eyed, by the way, uh, refers to the state of um, blindness uh, occurring as a result of accidentally consuming um, methanol in bad moonshine. Just so you know. And so the video we're going to take a look at from him, the music uh, video, is, is ominously titled, If Tupac rapped about his online business, which um, I'm gonna say for many reasons does not bode well for your uh, output of quote unquote rap music being not cultural appropriation. Just. I'm not, I'm not being presumptuous here, but based on this title, um, it seems likely that it probably is cultural appropriation. You know, um, I, I would, I would also just point out if he rapped about his online business, which, uh, you know, I would, I would point out was not really a thing in the early nineties, um, if, if you rap about that instead of social justice or um, police brutality, the concept of liberty, pop
poverty, racial injustice, likely uh, would not be um, the legend that uh, he is today um, because he's not dead. dead. You know, so so given this being what you're what you're saying, and this is who you're invoking, it, it suggests to me a lack of respectful and serious and deep engagement with the genre you have chosen to express yourself in. Is all I'm gonna say, but um, let's. See if we can stand to watch this for more than a few seconds. Uh, uh-huh. With no alarm, I wake up in the morning and I check my phone. Overnight I see my bank account has grown. I was tired of being poor and I'm feeling the lack. I built an online business, got my mojo back. A vision board, I make up a vision board. Make my visions with precision. My dreams, they're gonna manifest. Feeling satisfaction, laws of attraction. Doing daily actions, cashing in on my passion. Give us a sec, can I get a little respect? While I cash in my oversized check. I hustle and grind majorly. FB and IG are a stage for my job and I never miss. The traffic drama cause I work at home in my pajamas. And if I'm ever bored sitting at home, I'd book a flight to Bali, then to Rome. We ride on a Lamborghini. When we ride on a Lamborghini. He made this. Clearly put effort into this. Made the video. I assume played it back and was like, this is so good. I need to upload it to YouTube. I'm so sad. Wow. Probably, uh, probably stop rapping. And, um, you know, um, another idea would be like, maybe um, don't talk about Tupac um, ever again, or, you know, um, ever use his uh, name again. Maybe just don't, and, and don't ever put a bandana on um, your head like Tupac again. <laughs> um, just stop um, forever. That's a good idea. Um, so this is the guy that is going He's spiritually connected, visionary. Um, yeah. He's going to turn you um, into uh, the man that you were meant to be. Uh, I guess that's who he was meant to be. And I, I hope he doesn't see a similar future for you. If he does, I'm sorry. So, so these are... This is the type of person who is at the top of the pyramid in Kangen Water. You know, they're they're lame. They're just I mean, look at them. All right, you know, and we're having fun. We're laughing at him and stuff, but it's so hard to chew a saltine. But the problem with people like this is while clearly I and you know, all of you probably as well, or at least the vast majority of you, are not the target audience for this guy. And I, I would dare say that most people probably aren't. But there are people out there who are in a real um, low point in their lives who are very vulnerable to this type of lame manosphere influencer I know it's hard to believe that anyone would would not see him for what he is because he I mean it's so it's so pathetic but there are people who who are who are vulnerable because of circumstances like you know maybe they've lost their job they don't know what to do they feel like there's nothing that's going to happen right for them um and and they're looking for that solution and and boy does what 
he's saying here sound like what they need. Um, and they, you know, and they fall for it, but they're not gonna get, they're not gonna, look how pathetic his life is. You're not, he doesn't have anything to actually offer you. There's nothing he can help you with. He's just gonna take your money. If he were doing that well in his life, he wouldn't be selling courses to you. So that, I mean, that's the danger in people like this and the fact that anyone can put up a flashy looking website and claim that they've got the answer for you. Of course, it's for a price. But here's the thing. Somebody who knows a guaranteed way to make tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars is not going to be selling you courses online on how to do it too. Okay, they're gonna be out doing that, whatever that thing is that they know how to do that is guaranteed to make tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. Like they're gonna be out doing that not selling courses online. Like, they're not gonna increase their own competition. Uh, that's just the way it is, all right? Um, maybe we'll look at more of this guy's content because it, it's, it's, it's cringy, it's delicious, it's horrible. I, I've been Mac, peace out, bye! Oh,